production of D&D Studios. Yeah, and this is all the original stuff. So Nas recorded here, Biggie recorded here, Common recorded here, J. Rue. You know, the list goes on and on and of on. Of who's and who, on. And, yeah. and not only New York hip hop, but I'm yeah. the influence Everybody. world. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy because actually just had Pain in the Ass go by the Vibe Studios. Oh, yeah. And he was telling us about uh, what he was doing, one of the skits where I think Jay was on speakerphone, you and Dame were in the studio with him. Somebody had something, they were like, get that out of Pain's hands. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's funny, those skits is right over here. So we just actually, he just showed me, he just found the skits, all the original reels. What? So there two boxes right over there. Have all the, okay, yeah. I'm reloaded. That's all the skits. So that's the stuff that didn't make the album as well, too. So that scene you're talking about. <laughs> What are some of your earliest and your, your fondest memories of, of making that album? You know, because I'm sure just being in this, seeing these things brings back crazy yeah, life. I think probably the fun. So like we talked about those skits. I mean, us just laughing in the studio for hours, hours at a time, and just thinking of stuff and just snapping on each other and just making fun of each other and seeing that actually make the album. And on top of that was the whole process of seeing Jay. You know. The, turn from one type of um, artist and become another artist right, right. in reasonable doubt. Um, Before your very eyes. Yeah. Because obviously we've heard like, I can't get with that old yeah. early song. Exactly. And then we heard what he did on Reasonable Doubt. Yeah. It was like, wow, it's literally yeah. two different artists. Exactly. Do you feel like um, a lot of the producers also played a big part in that, in helping shape the sound? Huge Clark Kent, I mean, Primos, E Beats. Yeah, and Clark, I think, had some of the earliest music. Coming to Age was probably one of the earliest songs that was made on Reasonable Doubt. That was probably made two years prior to Reasonable Doubt. So Clark did a lot of recording with him. But the, I mean, we had the right producers and everything just fell into place. And then even Peter Panic to come at the end and then give us regrets. It was like the seal of deal, you know I mean, for that album. But Primo, what he brought, and at that time, the notoriety, you know, for being a, a, one of the best producers he was right now, at that time. All time. <laughs> But he was super A-list then, and we would have did anything for Primo Beat, and he called us and said, yo, I'm going to give y'all three beats. So I think wow, so Primo thousand. hit you guys on yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. And it's not only... You know.